I thought I'd take the time this week to start a goth challenge that I found, um, gosh, months ago at this point on somebody's blog, and it was a daily challenge where each day you were supposed to answer day one, day two, day three, a different question. And there are 30 days, it's supposed to be a month-long thing. I thought that it'd be kind of neat to use this as material for the vlog rather than, you know, writing a paragraph or two on my blog, actually talk to you a little bit about these various things. Alright, so uh, the first question, day one, how did you come to the subculture? I couldn't have started with an easy one. Okay, how did I come to the subculture? That is not an especially easy question for me to answer. It's sort of a long-winded one, so please bear with me. Um, and the reason it's not easy for me to answer is that I don't necessarily always feel like I'm part of the subculture. Um, I don't have a ton of goth friends. I don't go out to goth clubs, um, at least not with any kind of regularity. So there wasn't like this defining moment where my life changed and I started doing this stuff. This is just who I am. What I will say is this. I remember very distinctly in high school there was a girl, Nicole? I think, a year or two behind me in school, and she came to school every day dressed like a Hot Topic ad. And I don't mean Hot Topic 2016, I mean Hot Topic like it was when I was in high school in the 90s, which is to say, starting to head toward mainstream in that everyone knew what Hot Topic was, but still full of a lot of really cool goth stuff. Anyway, this girl, who may or may not have been named Nicole, was sort of my gap, my goth fashion idol. I don't think she has any idea who I am or who I was. I don't know that we ever actually had a conversation. I do know that if I found myself back in that situation or a situation like that, knowing what I know now and having become the person that I've become, I would have made a point of befriending her because I know that my friends were probably not the only ones making fun of her. My first foray into anything that I would consider goth fashion, even remotely, wasn't until my senior year of high school, the very end of my senior year. My prom dress was from Hot Topic, and I actually still have it. It's a really nice, really basic piece that I wear all the time still. It's still super comfy. Uh, it's just a crushed velvet floor-length gown with like spaghetti straps and like fake corseting across the front. Really basic, really simple. And I love it. I still love it. And that was that was my first that was my first hot topic purchase, I think. And definitely my first major look at me, I'm a gaff kid kind of moment. And then going into college, I didn't have a ton of disposable income, but when I did, most of my most of that went to Oh man, I had this pair of like fuzzy red leopard print lace up the side pants that I kind of wish I still owned even though I'm pretty sure they were hideous. What I'm saying is that most of my disposable income in college went to the odd hot topic piece, um, but I was still dressing in whatever my mom had bought for me in high school for the most part because I was a broke college kid and because it takes more than a couple months to completely overhaul your wardrobe and I didn't really care that much about fashion at the time and so even though I would look at these people dressed in these really like gothic outfits and think man they looked fucking cool I never really got around to making that effort myself. I think the only place that was an exception in college And then in my last year, year and a half of college, I was dating this guy who claimed to be attracted to my sort of otherness and gothiness and what have you. Um, he liked my, you know, like I said, sort of my otherness as long as 
it was in a place where he felt like he didn't have to be making a certain kind of impression. Um, we got in probably the first really big fight of our relationship when I graduated college and <gasps> wanted to wear fishnets under my gown. Uh, I mean, we like, I sat on our bed and cried that morning because he was so appalled because this wasn't just for me, it was for other people. Meanwhile, I'm going, okay, yeah, first of all, no, it is for me. I'm the one who did all the work and who's going to have, have to pay back the loans. It's my college graduation. Yes, there are people who are going to be there who are proud of me, but this is for me. Two, I'm wearing a fucking gown. Like a graduation gown and cap and all that nonsense. People are going to see, you know, from about here to here of me. Not an issue for me to wear fishnets, and yet he was appalled that I was going to wear something so... I don't know, subculture-y? I don't even actually understand what his problem was. Anyway, that guy and I were together for about three years, which, as you might imagine, um, sort of held me back a little bit in terms of, of exploring self-expression through fashion. But yeah, I'm just, I'm in a much better place in my life. I am self-employed, which means I don't have to worry about, you know, getting permission from my boss to, say, shave half my head and dye what's left funny colors, or wear blue lipstick, or, you know, whatever you want to put out there. I don't need permission for that, and that's really nice. And that's given me, finally, you know, in my late 20s and early 30s, the chance to really explore my fashion and my sense of the macabre as expressed through my fashion. Question two of the goth challenge is not really a question so much as a request. It is, and I quote, share photos and experiences from your baby bat days. I've already done some of that with the sharing experiences, um, but I'll put up a little slideshow or something of my attempts at goth fashion in the early days, including a photo from my senior prom.